What's going on guys, it's Steve Experiment here, and uh, today I'm showcasing my uh, college design project. I'm calling it the ARM system, so automated reloading of magazine system. Yeah, uh, or, or automated reloading of magazine system, or however you want to boil it down as. But ARMs, basically. So, uh... As you see, it's just an in right now it looks like just an infinite with the front cut off. Well, that's pretty much what it is though. Even though it has a little bit extra to it. So ah, great. <laughs> I didn't screw it all the way. Great. So it's gonna be another I thought I got it all. But uh this is just a prototype pretty much for it. Uh and something that I could say, okay, I'm done with my design project for the class. And I'm at class right now. There's no class just ended, so I figured I'd record this now before I forget. And while I still have roughly what I want to say about this in my head. So this project was about six, roughly six months worth of work on it. Uh, and I'm glad that I was able to get it done. So it's just the internals pretty much of an infinite just cut down, just uh, trimmed up a little bit. And I replaced the, because uh, well, it's just the reloading mix, so I don't need everything else. Replaced the onboard board and, and stuff with an Arduino Uno. And that's the, that's the motor shield that I need for it too. And then I got a step down convert a buck converter, step down uh, from 7.4 of a 2s lipo down to 5 volts so it can run the board. And then the 7.4 runs to the motors, so that's what runs it. Uh, I can do a quick little test demonstration. Let's get that up to 7.3 is close enough. Uh, it's the Good old fashioned XT60 connector. And then you can see the buck converter. It has a uh, voltmeter in it. So let's get this one fixed. Negative. Ooh, that's positive effect up in there. Negative. And you can see it uh, has very low current draw, just the board right now. And then up to about three to two, two to three, which is pretty good. So you can see it's, a, it's five for five volts. And I can also show the input voltage too, so it also acts kind of like that. And obviously, you know, a, volt, a voltage alarm, stuff like that on the LiPo itself. I'm plugged in so uh just a quick run through works kind of you know how you expect for for it uh yeah, finicky bastard yeah, the, the, the mag release is finicky i need to lubricate it but yeah, it's not it's not an issue right now so you know, it works how you'd expect. Ta-da! It works. 
Works great. I've had it working for I've had it close to working for a while now, actually. Uh, Bell's always having issues with uh, reverse with a uh, with it going in reverse and stuff like that. Yeah, or after the first cycle, I don't think you have that running anymore. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys the code for it too, because uh, you know knowing the code is very nice to know. So uh, there's the code for it. Let me just say it real quick. So here's the code. Uh, phone. So uh, I didn't write mo the rest of this. I did not write myself. Uh, I just changed a little bit of it. The bulk of the uh, the code is taken from uh, the Dark Devourer project by a guy on Reddit. I had to pull up the original post and put it in the description of this video so you all know, oh, hey, this is where I got the code from and stuff like that. But this is just a section of that code taken from it. And I've had to do some tweaking, for example, like the PWM and stuff like that, I had to add on to it uh, for, for it to work. This right here, ham, PWM zero. This simple line of code was, but uh, this simple line of code was all it needed for everything to work. Those zeros, uh, where is it, for two, where is it, two or three? like two or three lines of code that's all what was keeping it from working properly and all it was was just to set the pwm to zero <laughs> and i'm just i'm an amateur i am not at all well versed in programming i'm very much an amateur but so obviously i expect that to make mistakes but i can you know in the six months i've learned how to read this code and understand what it does so hopefully in the future i can understand what future code does pretty well but point being, uh, six months of work paid off, and it works pretty damn reliably. The only issue I have is that sometimes the feeder, the uh, the pusher, doesn't cycle back all the way. So I'd have to manually push it back. But it feeds the darts, feeds the darts themselves consistently into the magazine. That's all that matters in my book. But uh, later on, I'm likely to replace the housing with from the infamous to his own design so it could be far smaller because i mean it's literally the back half of an infamous it's kind of bulky uh but you know, whatever it doesn't matter uh i think i i just love that i was able to finish it though And I'm surprised that I was able to finish it. And you're going to see just me walking around now. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> college and stuff like that. So this is this is my design project for the call, for college. And I'm just glad I was able to get it done and stuff like that. Because typically, I <sighs> typically when it comes to projects, this is other people's stuff, I, uh, I have a hard time finishing them. Oh, we have grease. Nice. Super lube. Just a little bit of this work. But yeah. Uh, I always have a hard time typically finishing projects. So the fact that uh, on a reasonable time frame. So the fact that I was able to do this and finish it and stuff like that. You know, within the time frames and stuff like that of the course. For the two parts of it. You know, it was really nice. So let's just put some lube there. Ah, it should be plenty. yeah that is uh the arm system uh this is going to be posted with the reddit posts that i already have so and stuff like that uh i probably will go a little bit uh this is about as in depth as i can probably go with this uh yeah wiring's a little meh but I shouldn't expect any problems with it. The connections are good. That's all that matters. Uh, I need to put some heat shrink on it later. 
which I can do fairly easily. I just gotta disconnect everything. I just connect some stuff and I'll be good. But uh, but yeah, it's a fairly, fairly nicely, it's a fairly clean project, honestly. honestly. You know, it's not major massive shell cutting that's obscene, stuff like that, excluding that. Uh, the wires aren't all over the place. They're all nicely kind of bunched up here. Um, this is definitely one of my cleaner projects for sure. <laughs> because I mean, if you if you've seen my past work, some of my past work with like uh, the corner blaster I've done with the the uh, the blast uh, the uh, the cross the the weird crossbow uh, Busby crossbow blaster thing. Uh, that putting flywheel cage on that you'd see and stuff like that you'd see how kind of janky my I could, my stuff can be but this was very clean and i'm glad the way it turned out so yeah that's the arm system uh and uh yeah hope hope you all have a good day i know i am gonna have a good day today because i'm gonna be going to uh k do some k's later and uh yeah, goodbye.